Now it's time for us to head over to the cabin for a little bit of alternate balloon rounds. So we're going to head here with Quincy as our hero. And we're going to put Quincy down right away. Right about here. The pack is ready. And begin. Quiet. Quincy's great because he can see up here and down here. We are going to leak a little bit right up here because we don't have a level 3 Quincy due to monkey knowledge. If we had our ability, we would use it right here and not leak, and it would be great. Wake up. But it's okay. We're also going to leak a majority of this round because there's camo and we don't want to start with a ninja monkey. Ninja monkey is really low value and doesn't bring us value every round like Quincy does. We can see it right here. Boom. All that value. Now we can put a ninja monkey just to the left of Quincy, like so. Wake up. And we're gonna leak just a little tiny bit. Which is fine. We need to save up for an alchemist. We don't want to leak the lead balloons. That's really bad news, you know? So we're going to put that alchemist right over here in a spot where it can only throw onto the ninja yeah. monkey. Set that to strong and begin upgrading like so. The acidic mixture dip is pretty good as well because it gives Ninja Monkey a little more popping power. But it has been nerfed, I think, specifically for this combination. As the Ninja Monkey throws really fast, they made it so that the acidic mixture dip is not time-based, but rather than number of attacks based. So we're going to upgrade our Ninja Monkey to 101 as quickly as we can here. I like Seeking Shuriken first. They're both good, and I think we always leak this one right here. Wake up! Regardless of what we do there. And now we're going to be gunning for a double shot up here. Wake up! Double shot is when we really start to just feel comfortable and strong in our build. We need $920 for that. There we have it. So now we have the please don't die part of our build, right? We're getting closer to round 40, so we are going to need a monkey sub to deal with that. We want the monkey sub to go right on over here. You can see we have really nice vision. Maximizing that right here, just in case stuff gets a little crazy. We're going to get advanced intel and twin guns. And around Three. round 35 here, we're going to have enough for the third upgrade in this tree here. Which is all we need to get past round 40. We're also continuing to abuse the fact that monkey subs can use everyone else's vision. So we can see camo balloons on our monkey sub via the ninja monkey right here. Oh, I said third upgrade. I meant fourth upgrade. We should be able to get the fourth upgrade in round 35 here. Once we get this fourth upgrade, we'll be really happy. But 3,240 is quite a bit of money. Oh, 
We're almost there. Right at round 35. Just as planned. And now we need an alchemist. So right here. Boom. All the way up there in that corner. And that's because we're going to be putting a sniper monkey down here later. The sniper monkey is going to help us just breeze through this level as much as we can. Obviously with no monkey knowledge it's not quite as quick as it could be. But it's still pretty fast considering how difficult this level is for a beginner level. So we need our sniper monkey. Right like that. Make sure we verify that we can get our monkey village down here. Sometimes if you get a little lackadaisical with your placement, you can't put the monkey village here. I'm going to do that because sometimes you forget and your sniper monkey can't see camo stuff, which is just no fun. Get ready to We want this to be on first. I know you can get a lot of value with a sniper monkey hitting the strong stuff, but for now we want it on first. Great. And what's really nice about this is we can get rid of the camo balloons as quickly as we want. Now we have jungle drums. We're going to get an alchemist. Right here is good. We can set that to strong, but nothing should even get down here. You can see here we're getting through these rounds really fast now. Now we have a 3-2 Alchemist here. And we're going to save up for the full auto rifle. And we can see stuff's getting clumped up a little bit. Our sniper's not able to clear everything as quickly as we want it. So we can put our bomb shooter up here or up here. Both are fine. Depending on your risk tolerance. Right like so. Two, zero, three. upgrade this alchemist as well. Yes. We can see how quickly the popping goes up here. This tower really helps us out. We're also going to get a necromancer put it pretty much wherever we want. We just really want it to be up here helping push out these balloons that we can't yet see. You can see we're popping a lot of stuff here. We could also sell the ninja monkey here. I think we're going to, just to make sure we don't throw onto it. It's really low value and doesn't do anything the wizard monkey isn't already doing for us. Put another alchemist up here to just kind of help out. 
Not quite enough for the stronger stimulant, but when we get there, we're going to be doing lots of good stuff for us. We can see here our build's doing pretty well. Nothing's really getting too far into the screen and we're getting rid of all these slower rounds off screen, which is what I really like about this build. It's a shame with this build though, we can't really get a monkey village up here anywhere except right there. But it's still pretty good even though we can't get it onto Quincy. We can get it onto the bomb shooter, which is where we want it. This just makes it so that this up here gets tons of popping power. We're at 44,000 already, which is quite a bit. We've actually almost caught up to our monkey sub, which is pretty considerable. The monkey sub has been on our build for a lot longer. Place down another bomb shooter here. So we have two of them now. And at this point you could just walk away from your computer and be just fine. I'm quite confident of that. But if you want to go even faster, you can save up for a secondary sniper monkey and get it down right before the run ends. I recommend not putting it down over here as you don't want your alchemist to throw onto this, right? And we can also just upgrade our alchemist a little bit more. But we're pretty much through it and there's not a whole lot of time to be saved at this point in the run. We could also just upgrade Quincy a bunch too. We now have plenty to upgrade our new sniper if we want to put one. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Right like so. All we have to do is wait. What's kind of interesting is you can sometimes see this shooting without this one shooting. And that pretty much just means that the attack speed here, because it's so much higher due to the jungle drums and the alchemist, is going to pop things before this one even gets to begin attacking. Which is kind of an interesting way of mechanics interacting. Here comes round 80. We're going to dominate it. We can use Quince's ability, Quince's other ability, and there we go. The secondary Zoma God seems like it just dies a little faster, which is always interesting. But there's our alternate balloon rounds medal. Perfection.